Dangle sniper Selly, dangle sniper Selly, dangle sniper Selly, man, I'm gonna make a melee. Dangle sniper Selly, dangle sniper Selly, dangle sniper Selly, man, I'm gonna make a melee. Got my backhand toe drags, my dangles, they be perfect. Slick on the ice, boy, I'm ice game surfing. I'll clown your ass. This is like a circus, three on three in summer league, your efforts they be worth Cause I dangle sniper Selly, I dangle sniper Selly, got my flow ice out. is called the blade. This is where the puck makes contact with the stick. There's different spots on the blade where the puck is located. Right here is the heel of the blade. That's where the puck starts. And this is the toe of the blade. This is where the puck is released. As you're shooting, the puck starts here and slides up to the toe of the blade. To have a good wrist shot, you need to start with good body positioning. Your leg should be shoulder width apart and, and bent. And now, your front shoulder should be pointing at the net. Next, you should have very good puck positioning. At every shot, the, the puck should be at the heel of the blade. Also, before the shot, the stick and the puck should start a little bit behind the back leg. Now that you got the puck positioning down, it's good for a good arm movement. You want your hands to be out in front of you and not like this while you're taking a shot. So it's like that. Now during the shot, you should flick your wrist to get extra power in. Also, very important, you want to have good leg movement. You want to put all your weight on the back foot and explode through while you're taking the shot. That's where most of the power comes in. It's like throwing a ball. When you're throwing, you push off that back leg and explode through. Like a shot. You put all the weight on the back leg and explode through. That's how you get most of your power in. Also, by the end of the shot, your front foot should be pointing at the direction of the shot. With the back leg exploding through the shot, you also want to explode your hips through. Almost like throwing a ball again. You don't just use your back leg for power, you also use your hips. Like that. But same thing as a shot. You want to use your back leg and your hips. Finally, by the end of the shot, your front foot and the toe of your blade should be pointing at the direction of the shot. Now that I've taught you all the important components to taking a good wrist shot, you'll be able to take a shot as good as a pro someday. Hope to see you score.